if you're anything like me, you're probably spending hundreds, if not thousands of dollars every year on guitar strings. I have some of the most acidic hands that of anybody I know of. And I have usually six guitars here at my home studio. And I just tear through strings. Literally, if I want my guitar to have the best playability and sound, I need to be changing strings almost every other time I touch a guitar. And it's a very frustrating process for me because you have to obviously invest the time to change guitar strings, but it almost takes away from some of the joy of being able to pick up your instrument when you see that it's got corroded strings and you know that it's just not going to be to the standard of a brand new set of strings on your guitar. So it's always been a challenge for me to figure out strings that I could use that would not only last longer than an ordinary string, but also sound as good as some of the standard strings that are out there in the business. But there are such things as coded strings, and there's been companies like Elixir that have sort of made their mark on the industry by specializing in coded strings that are designed to last longer than ordinary guitar strings. However, as many of you may know who've used them, the challenge is, is that they kind of always sound like they're a dead string. And although I rarely get to experience the sound of a dead string because I just burn through the string before it even gets to that point because it's already corroded, it doesn't have the same chime and the same sort of brightness that we would expect from an ordinary guitar string. So it was always sort of a compromise for me. Do I go with a string that kind of always sounds dead but may last a little bit longer for me? Or do I want to go to, uh, with an ordinary guitar string but know that the lifespan of it is pretty limited? And this was the conundrum that I was constantly dealing with and have pretty much dealt with my entire life as, as a guitar player. And one of my friends, Devin, from Diodario had told me about this new coded string that Diodario was making. And of course, I was skeptical that it would improve upon the stuff that's already out there. But I really do love Diodario strings, and I've been a longtime user of the NYXL strings from Diodario. And I thought, man, if I could get, you know, part of the playability of this string with the longevity of something like an Elixir, that would really be a dream come true. And I put a set on my Strat here, and I was blown away, not only with the sound, but with the longevity in that I have had the strings on the guitar that I have right in front of me for over a week and it hardly has any corrosion at all on the strings and I've been playing this guitar almost every day this week for at least 30 minutes to an hour. So this is something that is incredibly promising to me, but I wanted to really do a test for those of you who are like me, who have very acidic hands or who just burn through strings quickly or want the sound and the feel and the chiminess of a new string to be elongated as much as possible to really see if this string is gonna be a contender. But before we go further into talking about guitar strings, I just wanna remind people that only about 20% of you that are watching the channel every week are actually subscribed. So now is a great time to double check and verify that you are subscribed. And if you're not subscribed, I invite you to hit the subscribe button, hit the bell icon so you can be notified of all the videos that we're coming out with every single week. Now let's get back to talking about guitar strings. Over the last week, I've spent time recording various different strings on this guitar that are all brand new to create a baseline of how the new XS string from Diodario compares to some of their standards. And so I used a couple of different strings. I firstly used my standard, the guitar string that I would almost use on every single guitar, which is the NYXLs. I'm very familiar with how the string sounds. And so I wanted to use this as one of our baselines to compare the XS string to see if it even compares brand new, out of the box, does it have the same sort of vibe and sound and chiminess that we would expect from this string as a baseline? Secondly, I wanted to go with a standard 10 gauge string that's also very popular and a great string used by many people, the Ernie Ball regular slinky, and use this as another baseline, knowing that many of you out there likely use this string, if not one of the Diodarios, a very common string out there, just to create a baseline so that we know what these strings sound like brand new, playing the same passage. I'm also, of course, going to be using the all new Diodario XS string, the coded string, 
to see how that stacks up on our bass line. So again, I'll be playing all three strings. I'm gonna play the same exact part as close as humanly possible so that you really get a sense of what they each sound like in context. I'm gonna restring the guitar three times so you get to hear it with each one of those separate strings, all brand new, straight out of the box. Then we're going to skip forward to today, which is after I've already done the experiment a week later, I've got the same strings that I had installed on this Strat and I've left them on here for a week and I've been playing them for a week and we're going to compare how these sound a week later. Now, I didn't leave on the Ernie Ball strings or the NYXL strings for a week and if we were going to do a true one-to-one -one comparison, I guess we could have done that, but I know from my own playing and from my own hands that those wouldn't have lasted more than two days anyway, so it wouldn't even be something that would be worth comparing at that point because the strings would have been so dead and so far gone and completely corroded, it's not really gonna give us an accurate representation. I think really what we wanna see is, how does this compare new to some of the 10 gauge string standards? And then a week later, does it still maintain the brightness and the character that it did as a new string comparatively to some of those other 10 gauge string standards being the NYXL and the Ernie Ball regular slinky. So let's get into this comparison and let's see how it actually does. So first things first, you're gonna see me playing the NYXL, the standard that I've used for many years. It is something that I really am familiar with and I really love the feel of this string. I just don't really love the longevity of this string just based on sort of the chemical composition of my hands and my sweat that just tear through these strings. So we're gonna hear that first. Then we're gonna immediately go into the Ernie Ball regular slinky. So I'm gonna stop, restring, go with the Ernie Ball regular slinky, and then I'm gonna replay that same example. Then we're gonna restring with the XS string, and then we're gonna to get to hear that again comparatively, all three brand new strings comparatively against each other, just to get a baseline. Because again, some people believe that things like the elixirs or other coded strings tend to just sound dead right out of the box. I found that to be completely untrue and even listening back to some of these clips, they actually all sound pretty close to each other in terms of sort of the resonance, the brightness, kind of the chiminess of the string. They're all within, I think, a pretty fair standard margin of error. So let's have a listen to those and let's analyze that a little bit. So among those three strings, I actually feel like maybe the Ernie Balls have a slight bit more chime to them, but the NYXLs and the XS 
I think they sound pretty close and certainly the degree of variation between them is fairly nominal. But now let's go to hearing these same excesses. These are the same strings that were on here a week ago when I played these other examples. There's hardly any corrosion to speak of on this. And let's see how this compares to the clip of it a week ago. So I'm going to play today's guitar strings and then I'm going to crossfade it to what you heard a week ago so you can hear them back to back. And I'm hoping, because I'm going to be playing it right now, that we're going to hear minimal differences between what we heard a week ago and today, because I can see from the conditions of the string that there really isn't much degradation of what we have here. It looks almost the same as it did. There's maybe a few little specks of some oxidation on here. But for me, having a string for a week, having played it every day for 30 minutes to an hour, to be in this condition is unprecedented. So I'm really looking forward to hearing what this comparison sounds like and really getting to compare what it sounded like last week to what it sounds like today. So let's check it out. So I am very impressed with the proximity of these strings a week ago versus these strings today. They sound incredibly similar, maybe a slight bit darker, but I believe that we would have a much, much darker and worse playing string had I left on NYXLs or had I left on the regular slinkies just by way of the fact that they are not coated and I have very corrosive hands and corrosive sweat that would have just obliterated those strings. This to me is so encouraging because not only do I have now a string that can get me really close to the things that I'm used to with the NYXLs, but also give me the longevity that I was formerly never able to get with any other type of string. So this is something for me that is going to save me some time and that I'm not having to restring my guitars regularly to get the, the best performance out of them. And the other great thing is it's only nominally more expensive than the NYXL that I was formerly using. And I love the NYXL strings. And for most of us who don't have corrosive hands like I do, the NYXL will be a perfectly fine string. And probably the performance that you get out of it will be similar to the performance that I might get out of the XS string with the amount of guitar that I play. But if you're like me and you're somebody who just burns through strings, whose corrosive hands and sweat just destroy your guitar strings and you're forced to have to restring them all the time, I don't think you any longer have to compromise with getting a coated string that really makes a string sound dead just straight out of the box because the excess now is in existence and it will give you the performance, the chime, the brightness, the things that you love about having a freshly strung guitar, but elongates that longer than I've been able to find in any other coated string and give you, again, that brand new performance of an uncoated string for weeks on end. And I'm really excited to see how long this actually lasts with this level of performance, but I'm happy with just being able to say I can confidently get a week out of these strings with regular playing and then they're not going to be completely obliterated, deteriorated, corroded. They really do sound great and they feel great still under my fingers a week later. So I'm very, very excited about continuing to use these strings. And I'm hoping that this is something that some of you might find useful that are in a similar situation as I am as it relates to your guitar strings. So I hope you enjoyed this video about the Diodario XS strings. Again, they are incredibly good sounding. I think even comparatively to some of the other strings out there, that are kind of the standards, NYXLs, the regular slinkies from Ernie Ball, when you heard them all new, they were all pretty similar to each other. Maybe some slight differences in chime and maybe some brightness between them, but that could also be chalked up to my guitar playing. Then we fast forward to a week and we're still getting roughly the same performance and sound out of the strings going a week forward, where otherwise those Ernie Ball and those NYXLs would have been obliterated days ago and completely unplayable, totally rusted out just by way of the corrosiveness of my hands. So I highly recommend 
checking out the excess strings absolutely amazing diodario did not sponsor this i just felt like this was almost like a public service announcement to people that are like me that just completely destroy strings i know there's a lot of you out there and this isn't a slide on ernie ball or on the nyxls those are great strings it's just I can't use them with any longevity just by way of the chemical composition of my hands and my body. Just I just can't use those strings and expect them to last very long. So these are absolutely amazing. Performance is incredible, and I just can't recommend these more highly. I am incredibly satisfied with this product. If you're interested in purchasing some excess strings, I have some links and affiliate links in the description. So you can definitely buy a pack, check them out. You can see if you've gotten the same results as I have. I'd love to hear about it in the commentary. If you have any comparisons or any opinions on this particular string and how it compares to other coded strings, or if there's other coded strings out there that maybe we haven't mentioned here that you think may be worthwhile investigating if you're somebody like me that has really corrosive hands and sweat that just blow through guitar strings incredibly quickly. I'd love to hear from you again in the comments section. And if you like this video and you want to support us, an easy way to do that is give us a thumbs up. That goes a long way in helping other people find videos like this. Subscribe and hit the bell icon. And if you want to go even further in helping us, you can head over to our Vertex Effects website where we sell all of our Vertex Effects pedals. And our friends over at Sweetwater are running a special for this month with the Tone Secret, which is an incredibly great mid-gain overdrive that kind of mixes a preamp section of a mid-60s Fender amplifier with a Tube Screamer, mixes it all under one roof, and is an incredibly great mid-gain overdrive pedal, and it's on sale for $99.99, the cheapest you're ever going to find it, and it's one heck of an overdrive pedal, so I highly recommend you go check that out over at Sweetwater. They're going to give you great service from their sales engineers and great support for the product so you can ensure when this pedal arrives at your house you're getting the benefit of our lifetime warranty and their high quality customer service for life and if you want a free way to engage with us head over to our podcast we also have a separate youtube channel called chairman of the boards for the podcast but you can also find it on all the common podcatchers, whether that's on apple or spotify or wherever you listen to podcasts it's available there and i have a roundtable discussion with brian o'million from o'million audio and Grant Klassen from Goodwood Audio. And we have a conversation every week on tone and pedal boards and best practices. And I think if you dig this video, you're certainly gonna dig the conversations we have over there every single week. Until next time, I'm Mason Marangella from Vertex Effects, AKA The Rig Doctor. And that was my review and analysis on the brand new Diodario XS strings. They sound absolutely amazing. I highly recommend you check them out. See you later.